Thank How does you. it feel to be back in Santa Barbara receiving the Kirk Douglas Award for Excellence in Film? <laughs> well, I always love coming up here. We've had some wonderful um, events that we were part of uh, uh, with Lennon Malton and with Leo DiCaprio and, uh, and really always good memories and it's so beautiful up here. It's so beautiful. Um, and I, to be receiving this award is very special because I'm a great admirer of Kirk Douglas and uh, uh, as I was saying earlier that pretty much I saw all of his films from 1946 on when I was growing up. I was five years old. So it was a very formative time going all the way up into the 60s, you know. Well, this event is the largest fundraiser of the year for the Santa Barbara International Film Festival uh, for the philanthropic work it does in education and film for youth. What does it, what does it mean to you for the advancement of film for future filmmakers and youth? I think anything that could um, enable the younger people who want to be artists, uh, let's say film artists or whatever film means today, there's so many different possibilities, that anything that gives them encouragement, or well, first of all, that um, exposes them to all forms of the art form, you know, all kinds. And uh, uh, the big issue here is the inspiration to do something. Talent is one thing, but you need the inspiration. And I think that's what this, this su supplies. Kirk has said that you are a brilliant filmmaker and cinematic treasure. What do those words mean to you? Oh, it's the greatest compliment. And I, I wrote him a letter once, I, I told him, because he was like, I said, you're in my, I said, we never worked together, but I said, I, I can't imagine cinema without him. I said, he's like in our DNA, you know. <laughs> Tonight we'll be seeing clips from your incredible career. What are you most looking forward to revisiting? Of the clips? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I like watching the film I made of my mother and father. I know you, you always refer to it as narrative films, right? I mean, but the, the, this nonfiction thing I made of my parents, I always enjoyed because I learned so much from it. I made it in 1974. Um, and then there's some scenes from uh, Irishman, which uh, I enjoy watching yeah. repeatedly. Now, you've worked with actors like Leo and Robert De Niro time and time again. How does that inform the way you direct a film? Well, I think, first of all, um, to work with them so often, uh, it has to be, um, what's the word? They have to fit the material and vice versa, you know? Um, and so, uh, particularly with Bob, at first, a trust developed. Uh, we found ourselves, um, what's the word? Uh, uh, we're always veering towards uh, a certain type of picture. Um, um, we tried to do something quite different in King of Comedy back in 80, 82, 83, 83 I think it was. Um, and at that time was rejected by everyone. Um, and so we didn't work together again until Goodfellas. And then the last time Bob and I worked together was uh, Casino, 1995. We've been trying to get back together. Leo is something else entirely, you know, but again there's that bond of trust that's important, and a fearlessness on Leo the way Bob has. Can you talk a little bit about your journey making The Irishman? I understand well, it was in, in pre-production for quite a while. It was pre-production pre for quite a while, but the, the, the issue was that De Niro and I were looking to make a picture together one more time uh, since 1996, you know? So a lot, a lot happened during that time. Sometimes we grew, grew together, sometimes apart. And we had to find a, a subject matter and a, a character, a character first, that we could feel that maybe uh, we can explore to the point where uh, we could feel enriched by, um, by the work rather than repeating ourselves. There had to be something else we had to find. And he found this book um, that Eric Roth gave him, actually, Charles Brandt's book. And um, I saw the connection in the character right away. And then it was my... Uh, directorial problem as to not have a kind of repetition of the kind of films I made that uh, dealt with that milieu of the gangster world. 